A woman in Georgia got ridiculed for uh, using her food stamps when she got to the cash register. Let's take a look at a local video and talk about it afterwards. Nurger says she picked food that was covered by food stamps, but when she got to the cash register, there was a problem. I said, I'm sorry, sir, but there's nothing in my cart that is not covered under food stamps. So there was no need for all this, you know, and he said, well, excuse me that I work for a living and don't rely on food stamps like you. When I turned around and I saw all the people that were there, I was like, oh my goodness, and I just started crying. Nurger says she and her family rely solely on her husband's income. She says she can't work because she does 12 hours of dialysis every day. Right now, she doesn't have any kidneys and she's been waiting for one for five years. Oh, that's classy. Way to make fun of a woman who has no kidneys. Now, the guy didn't know it, but you know what? That's why maybe you should hold back a little bit instead of being a douche to, uh, to people like, Oh, yeah? I'm working at a grocery store. <laughs> How about you, Miss Food Stamps? Take it easy. Take it easy. That guy probably thinks that Mitt Romney's talking about him when he says, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to protect these guys, the job creators, etc., yeah. and not the 47% who's living off the government. Hey, maybe there might be a good reason for that. I think that this is a perfect example of how, you know, that Fox News type propaganda really gets absorbed by the American population because it, it immediately makes people who are on food stamps, who are in a difficult position in their lives, makes them look like they're lazy. And, and, and people start to buy into that kind of argument that they hear on television. And it is a perfect example of Hunger Games. I know that we make that reference quite a bit, but look, this is a Kroger manager basically arguing and fighting with a woman who has kidney disease, who's on dialysis, and who is not in a good financial situation. The Kroger manager is probably not in a great financial situation either. It's the middle class, the working class, the poor, fighting against one another, as opposed to focusing on what the larger issue is here. And the larger issue is the system that puts them there in the first place. That's absolutely right, and they do it on purpose. They want you to fight, and so that you're distracted and you're not worried about it. Look. A story that was out today is that uh, the amount of welfare is about $59 billion a year, okay, social welfare. The amount of corporate welfare is $92 billion a year. Mm -hmm. So the real money is going to the corporations, oil subsidies, et cetera. And those are not people who need it. Those are not people who are missing kidneys. Those are the most profitable corporations in the world, and they get that money anyway. And you're not doing a hand up there. You're not getting someone on the back on their feet. You're just getting, their politicians are getting bribes and take, giving our money to these guys because it's crony capitalism. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're fighting amongst yourselves, you don't even notice that. So, and by the way, she's got food stamps. What business is it of yours? To judge like that. Yeah, give her the goddamn food and move on with your life. She's paying you she, through the food stamps. So you should have no objections. But no, he thinks he's better than her. And that's what pisses me off. Yeah, what, and this story really struck home with me because, you know, in my family, my mom has the same condition that she does. You know, she's getting surgery for dialysis on Monday. So she, you know, she has the same condition. And, you know, we're lucky because she has a husband who uh, was smart with his money when he was younger. You know, he owns property and he lives off that rental money. And what if, what if she didn't have that situation? What if my dad wasn't able to take home money that way? He doesn't have to go to work, you know what I mean? But, and he can stay home and take care of her. But what if he didn't have that luxury? I mean, so what, these assholes are gonna totally judge her because she needs to rely on food stamps, the family needs to rely on food stamps because she can't work? Let alone, God forbid, if she uh, did not have insurance for a little while and she wants to get back on. Oops, pre-existing condition. Yeah. Sorry, you can't get insurance at all. That's it, and you're done. Right. You're done. Can you imagine? The one thing that the Reagan administration did do uh, for people who are on dialysis is they immediately get, um, I think it's Medicare. Mm -hmm. So even if you can't afford insurance, if you're on dialysis, you, you're, you, know, you will have coverage. So that was kind of a nice thing for All right. Yeah, God yeah. bless. Uh, that's why Reagan would have no chance in a Republican primary now. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, just giving dialysis to people who've got kidney problems. What a liberal. Anyway, overall, my message here is 